If you are currently studying for the CCNA exam or plan to start studying for it, then you're going to want to watch this whole video because I'm going to talk about everything you need to know with the upcoming changes to the CCNA exam. Let's dive into it. As you can see here, there's a new version of the CCNA exam coming soon, which is labeled as version 1.1. So the last day to take the current 1.0 exam related to all of its existing exam topics is 8.19 of 2024. So the biggest thing everybody's been asking me, what is actually going to change? What do I need to stop studying for? What do I need to start studying for? And that's what I'm going to focus this video on. So I have it broken down pretty simply for you here. First, let's talk about what is going to be removed. So AP and WLC management, that's going to be related to the Cisco Wireless LAN controller and access points in both autonomous mode or in controller based mode. I'm not sure why they're removing this one from the exam topics. I think that it's a great thing for all network engineers to know because wireless is typically something that a network admin would have to deal with. There's not always dedicated wireless people in environments unless they're really large. So that's being removed. Then we have DNAC, which is actually now called the Cisco Catalyst Center. So there still is a product similar to DNAC. It's just been rebranded. It's still going to be your software defined access controller. I think that there hasn't been as much momentum with that product. So that could be why they're taking it off of the exam topics. Then we have Puppet and Chef. So you'll notice that Ansible is not being removed. So Ansible is still relevant related to the CCNA exam, but I think that Puppet and Chef haven't been adopted as much as Ansible. So they don't really see a need for you to know how to use those tools when not many companies are using them. All right, so now for what you are probably most stressed about is what are they adding to the exam? To be honest, it's not that scary. It's not that big of an impact in my opinion. First, we have some spanning tree related features, which are very commonly used in network environments. I think that everybody at the CCNA level should definitely know how to use root guard, loop guard, as well as BPDU filter and guard. Then we have cloud managed network devices. This is becoming more and more popular where enterprises want to be able to just plug in devices, have them phone home to the cloud. They pull up their SaaS cloud management dashboard where they can manage all of their network devices from switches to access points to even firewalls. And any of you watching the video, if you know Cisco at all, you're familiar with Meraki. So if you have any Meraki experience, then this is going to be an easy topic for you to grasp. Then of course, you know they had to add AI into the exam because that's just been all the craze as of late. And it does make a lot of sense because I see it more and more every day. People leveraging generative AI to automate code or configurations, and then predictive AI being built into actual products. Then we have REST API authentication types. When it comes to network automation, REST API is an important thing to understand. And anytime you're setting up REST APIs to automate changes to network devices, you want to make it secure and introduce different types of authentication. So definitely something that you should know. Then last but not least, we have Terraform, which is a infrastructure as a code software tool that can really help you automate an environment at scale. So if you want to get really nutty with mass deployments of cloud environments or even on-prem network devices, Terraform is a great tool to be aware of because you may run into it when you get networking jobs and especially at larger companies. Okay, so now you know that you have to take the current version of the exam by August 19th of this year. And you know that after that date, there's going to be version 1.1 with these changes. So now you're asking yourself, what do I do? What's my next step here? So of course, option number one is you just pass the exam before the changes. 
if you're really close to being ready to take the exam and you don't want to have to learn these new topics, then I would say maybe study a little bit harder than you maybe planned on. And if you have the time and it's not going to stress you out too bad, try to pass the exam before these changes. Or just wait until the changes take place and get caught up to speed on these new exam topics. If you want help in either of those scenarios, I can most definitely help you with my CCNA course that can be found on Udemy. If you're trying to cram for the exam before August 19th, I got you covered. I have a full course that covers all the exam topics with on-demand videos, practice exams, flashcards, and I use Packet Tracer for all of the lab demonstrations so you can download that free tool and follow along with me. And you can even message me if you need some additional help as you are going through the course material. And the best part is, when you enroll in my course, I do all the new version updates for free. So when version 1.1 comes, I'm not going to make you buy a new course or a new version of the course. I'm just simply going to update my material so that you're ready for either scenario. I'm actually already working on content for the new version. If you want to enroll in the course, I have a discounted link in the description below. I'm only allowed to offer these discounts for small periods of time, so make sure that you enroll as soon as you can to make sure that you can take advantage of that discount. Okay, well, I hope you found this video to be helpful. I just had a lot of people ask me about these changes coming soon, and I wanted to make it as easy as possible for any of you out there watching to know exactly what to prepare for to help you pass the CCNA exam and get certified. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video, and good luck on your exam.